off in the car. We are making our way to Newcastle City Town Centre because we're going to go and buy some Halloween stuff for our vlog, vlogween videos which start on the 1st of October which is less than a week away guys and it will be every single day we will be uploading a video guys so make sure if you're new hit that subscribe button and become part of the B fam guys so we're gonna go to Newcastle City Centre and we'll catch you when we get there guys we're currently in Newcastle City Centre um, it's so busy today I can't believe how busy it is but we're just walking up Northumberland Street now we're gonna go to the magic box have a look in there first see what Halloween stuff they're selling at the moment and um, then I think we might go for a coffee and then probably to Primark guys because I've heard that Primark have a lot of good stuff on at the moment Gian is also with us but he has a magic shop so we'll catch it up in there okay so we're actually in the magic shop and um, it used to actually be on Percy Street which is on the other side of the city centre and um, I was here last year um, to get some Halloween things last year. Do you remember? Come with me. No, you went by yourself. You did. Oh yeah, but you came and you waited outside. You didn't. Yeah, you? Wait, yeah. yeah. Um, so we're just looking for some stuff. I've got loads and loads and loads of stuff here. Um, Stephanie's just currently looking for mine. So you got like six outfits to find, haven't you? Like six. Six. Yeah. So. Like some skin aerations and stuff. Yeah. This is what you need for your costume, Sean. Can anybody guess just by this what show might be mm. for Halloween? Probably gonna need the plain ma makeup as well. I think it's more that colour. For you? Yeah, it's quite burnt. Look how freaky that looks, guys. It looks similar to the one I've got, doesn't it? But the hair's like more, like there's more hair more on that. More hair on it, yeah. Yeah, pretty sick. Nearly identical, how much is that one? 45 pounds. Alice in Zombieland, that's pretty sick. <laughs> Never seen one of those before. I like that one, I think that one looks nice. So we're currently looking at contact lenses, and what colour are you looking for, Stephanie? Like a yellow greeny like colour. A yellow greeny colour. Maybe it's I like that one. That? The colour. Oh, a ghost kind of colour. Yeah, I think that one might be the thing that you're looking at. Ghost colour. Let's have a yeah. look. There's quite a lot actually here, guys. In the range of 15 to 10 pounds, aren't they? Yeah. How many do you get in? Just, just a set? I think just yeah. a set, yeah. I've never put contact lenses in before. Our outfits <laughs> are going to be pretty sick, by the way. So, in case you guys don't know, we're actually doing like vlogging throughout the entire day of October. So we're actually going to a few Halloween parties as well, but it's fancy dress. So you've got to like, dress up as like a character. And as you know, there's like six of us going. So they got to pick, pick six outfits. Um, and mine and Stephanie's, I think, require contact lenses. I think mine will be like a ready, won't they? Like, yeah, like a red. Literally just finished up in the magic box. And we this is what we've got in this little bag here. Guess how much we spent? We spent 61 pounds on just this little bag. 61 pounds and we haven't even got the outfits yet so we're still going to get about six outfits for everyone so it's quite a lot so i think we're going to go for some food now are you cooked for some food stephanie yeah, yeah. then we're going to go to mcdonald's or maybe just go to greg's pop by mcdonald's to get some food because we're not going to have time to go back home and actually make anything because we're going to be going on the school run after this obviously so we're going to go for kilo after this didn't get any pop did we? I think then after this we'll actually be doing like a tutorial back home as well, won't we, with the things that we got? Yes, we're gonna do a Halloween makeup tutorial. Just a little practice for like next week so we get it right. Because we don't wanna like do it next week and like make a big massive mis mistake. So we're gonna do it this week, get a bit of practice in and get it right, yeah. Yeah, well we're using wax for the very first time. Yeah. So obviously we need to practice a little to get it perfect. Okay, so this is the Haymarket bus station. It's kind of where you'll arrive if you're coming from like Annick, North Shields, what your base places like that. Kind of places like out of the city centre. Um, we would never usually use this bus station unless we're like travelling further up. We probably use the other ones just further down and around the corner. Also got St James's Park not far from here, just in case you're visiting the city, just around the corner and up the street. Um, also, you've got the central station, which is basically on the other side of the city. 
and that station will take you like down to London, Birmingham, uh, Manchester, Liverpool, places like that. And then you've also got a nearby cab station just down the road, as you can see. So easy routes for taxis if you're coming off buses and you want to get around the city centre. Parking's quite available nearby. Just thought I'd give people a bit of information for, to people who's not like actually from Newcastle. In case you guys ever think about visiting, this is probably where you'll end up. Um, and it's quite a small city, like in a way, isn't it? To get around and like Yeah. It's yeah. Not that big, yeah. It's not that hard to like find your find your way around. It's not like spread out, it's not like a city it's spread out, it's like a city, it's more like condensed, isn't it? It's all in one spot kind of thing. All in one spot, that's the best way of putting it. So we're gonna get back to our car and then get picking up Logan from school and, and Caleb. Caleb and we'll see you guys very soon. Okay guys, welcome to Dion Cam and I'm gonna pass the camera to Logan. He will tell you how his day has been. Okay. Then tell him what you've had for food and just put it like that. I'll hold it for you. I've had a little tuna sandwich. I've had a tuna sandwich and the pudding. I have it a pig and tested and then the breakfast club. Jam and butter and toast. Did you do any school work? Yeah. What did you do? I just want to tell you it. Okay. So yeah, Logan. And okay. I'll tell you what I played. What did you play? It's an agriculture and um, the big, big kids stuff. Big kids Lego. Some of it. Sounds like you had a really interesting day at school, Logan. Can you tell, Logan, can you tell everybody about your spelling test? How many did you get right? Five out of five, didn't you? Yeah. Did you get them all right? Yeah. So Logan got all his spellings right, guys. And he has a new set of spellings now, don't you? Uh-oh. <laughs> okay, guys, so we've just picked Caleb and Logan up from school. We're just going to go to Aldi now and get some um, essentials in like milk and water, milk and water, milk and bread. We're always <laughs> running out of milk and bread guys. Um, the boys have had a good day at school as you guys have just seen with Dion Cam and Logan Cam. Caleb is actually asleep. Every time we pick him up from school he has a nap in the car for about 5-10 minutes until we get back home. Sometimes even on the way there, like if we're taking him to school he'll go to sleep on the way there. So it's like his little routine of his, isn't it? It is, yeah. So now we're gonna go to the park and take them to the park. So we'll catch you when we get to the park. I'm going out my mind. Give me some directions to get to you. To get to you, ain't gonna waste my time I know that we got connection, I think about you You're on my mind, on my mind, on my mind Yeah, I'm going out of my mind, out of my mind, out of my mind So we're at the park, the children are currently playing um, I thought I'd just take a couple of minutes and speak to you guys and ask yous how your day is going so guys because we've been to the magic box to get our halloween costumes and things i was just wondering if you guys have already started to think about your halloween costume if you guys have leave a comment down below let us know what you're planning to be for halloween I'd love to hear your guys's halloween outfits that you guys got planned for this halloween if you guys have got any um also um there is somebody in the house is a little bit unsure on what they want to be so if you've got any suggestions for them drop a comment down below give them some ideas and um, it's for sean sean's not too sure on what he wants to be so drop a few comments down below if you've got any um ideas that for something that you can be for halloween um it's not just a halloween but it's for some halloween parties that we are going to so we'll be taking you guys along to them okay guys I'm back home, I've got something I want to show you guys. I've been back home for about a couple of hours now. I'm going to have tea very soon, but before we do have tea, I've got a bit of a product review that I'm going to show you. 
So I am interested in this product and have been given this product to review for you guys. So it is a water flosser. It's an electric water flosser. It is cordless and chargeable. Uh, and basically it is meant to be really, really good since I've done some research on it. Um, rotates 360 degrees to reach all areas of the mouth. On and off switch, easy to control. Dual pressure control. Low for sensitive gums, high for deep clean. So healthy gums within 14 days, results guaranteed, um, or your money back. Oh, they've got different attachments, so you've got actually different attachments on here that you attach to it, which I'm gonna show you guys what it's all about. So you attach different things to the nozzle on the end. So basically what I, th what I think it is, it's just something that stops you of buying like dental floss, but something that's a bit more advanced. I've never seen it before, but I'm gonna give it a go. Let you guys know what I think about it, whether it's worth the money. It is £50 in the stores if you're interested. So check it out. Well, let's unbox it and see what's inside. Okay, and let's see what's inside of it. That's what it looks like on the box. Looks pretty good. Let's open it up. Have a look. Some instructions there. We'll read them later on. Some more tips there. Quick start guide. Read that a little bit later on. And let's see what the product looks like. So I've never seen a water flosser before. So that's the charger. What's this? That's just the rest of the boxing. I'm gonna get rid of that. Quite big. One thing I will say is pretty big. I would be interested in trying a smaller one. So if there's a company out there and you wanna send us a smaller one, we'd be happy to try that out for you. So yeah, it looks pretty good. Looks like one of those whisking machines. <laughs> But that's the size of it, it's pretty big. But I guess it's gotta be big to hold enough water. It holds up to 200 ml of water or 70 ounces. Um, these, are the these are the attachments that you get. Different attachments, supposed to do different jobs. But let's pop them open, let's have a look. That is for plaque, it's called a plaque seeker. So it's best for crowns, bridges, implants, and this one here, the narrow tip. This is the classic jet tip here, which is thin, um, and it's that's the gentle use. So you use that to fake your got a sensitive gums. And the last but not least is the focus camera orthodox tip. Um, and that's best for braces, so if you've got braces, this could be really handy to clean in between your teeth. So I reckon this is what it's probably good for, for cleaning braces. So if you're wearing braces and you're young, and you, you I wore braces when I was young. And to be quite honest with you, it's really hard to brush your teeth when you're wearing braces. So, that's probably one good thing it's got going in its favour. And then it comes in another package, just here. And it's basically a simple charger. So you get the charger, you get your four extensions, um, which all have different purposes. And then you have the 200 mil tank, which I think just pops off like that. Does it? I'm not gonna pull it off just in case it doesn't. Oh, it's got a button there to press. Oh no, it doesn't. You just filled up. You just filled up with water, pop it in, looks like it seals, and then Attach your attachment once it's charged and then away you go So that is it. That's all you get in the packet and I will let you guys know how I get on That's a quick little product unboxing there for you guys I am interested in getting my teeth whiter not obsessively I do believe that you should love yourself for who you are and you shouldn't change for anybody You should only change if you want to change don't change for anybody else because that's not the way to live guys It doesn't make you happy promise me. I promise you I've been there, lived a the life, done that. So, I am interested to get my teeth a little bit whiter, so I'm glad that I've gotten this from the company. I'm gonna give it a go, and I'm pro they said results within 14 days. I'll probably let you guys know in 14 days, but I may not because we are in the Vlogoween season. So I may let you guys know maybe it's within a month, um, or maybe it's five weeks when we're in November. I'll let you guys know if it's been of any effect, if it's not, if it's just a waste of money. Um, so, see you guys. Maybe buying something good. I'm going to save you guys wasting your money 
or it might actually send you guys in the right direction to buy something that's worth it. And that's what I do these little unboxes for. Um, and that's where I take these things off companies for is because just to test them to save the worth they to use and if they're not then I'll give you guys my honest review so we have been contacted by quite a few companies lately and been asked to review quite a few products so there'll be a few more product reviews coming in the near future but I don't want to make that about the vlog I want to make it about you guys I want to make it about us as a YouTube family having fun um, and just chilling and enjoying life in general guys um, so that was a quick little product review, back to the vlog. Okay guys, so it's getting close to the end of the night, um, all the children are in bed. So yeah, it's been a pretty fun packed day today with us. Pretty busy, um, being at the city centre, done some things down there, um, you guys have seen us in the magic box, so that's a fraction of what we've got to show you in the coming videos coming. There's got, we've got so much to show you guys, it's going to be amazing. So like I said, if, it's new, if you're new to the channel, um, stick around, hit the subscribe button, turn your notification and if you've enjoyed this video just smash the thumbs up button and everybody else you guys, I know you guys always smash up the fun, thumbs up button everybody who's already subscribed so thank you for that, we really do appreciate it I don't think I've said thank you for a long time but yeah, I really, I'm really really grateful for all the support this channel gets given yeah, and um, so are the children, so is Stephanie and I think we'll be here for a good hour or two having a chat if time this allows it yeah, this will be our last vlog before Ooh, yeah. Vlogoween. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, yeah. should we tell them what time we're going to be uploading every day from the 1st of October? I know you guys have heard us say that we're going to do it every day and every day and stuff like that. And we've, we, we've, we've stopped and stuff like that. But because content, we always prefer to do quality over quantity. Okay? But what we've done with um, Vlogoween, we've basically put a lot of work into it. And you guys will see the work in the coming vlogs. So like Stephanie said, she wants to give you a time. She wants to say 8 o'clock. It's going to be 8 o'clock upload next week. Our next video will be 8 o'clock constantly. Be ready to tune in because every day is going to be an adventure. Every day is going to be a spook. Every day is going to be a scare. Every day is just going to be insane, guys. So every single day throughout Vlogoween is going to be amazingly scary. So if you're this kind of person who really loves Halloween and loves it so much, stick around on this channel because it's going to be absolutely great we've got so much to reveal to you guys we'd love to tell you guys more about it now but what i'm going to say our next video we'll be visiting one of the most hauntedest places in the united kingdom and i'm not going to say where it is it is one of the most hauntedest scariest paranormal places in the united kingdom and we are taking you guys there who knows what we'll see who knows what we'll experience but the only way you're going to find out is by sticking around and coming back to the next video. So, so that will be up on the 1st of October at 8 o'clock, guys. Yeah. So make sure you come back for that as well. Um. So we'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you for subscribing. Thank you for liking. And we'll see you guys tomorrow. Um. Yeah, we'll see you guys in the next video. Good night.